Gatekeeping toys. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. I'm gatekeeping toys. Bobble hats were popular? Oh man, I, I don't know man. My uh, bobble hats are okay. Not nearly as offensive as uh, Funko Pops. Honestly, I, I hate Funko Pops for fashion, man. Like, those things are offensive. <laughs> like, <laughs> legit. If I ever have my own company, with my own staff, and if people want to display figures on there, I was like, okay, that's fine. Anything is fine, except for Funko Pops. Those are offensive. You are not allowed to display those on your, on your desk. As a, as a collector of figures, those things shouldn't exist. Those things look hideous. I hate them. Because Funko Pops, to me, they're like they're basically there for people who want to be a little nerdy without looking without being too nerdy and without dumping too much money into this pretentious hobby. So they, they just get some Funko Pops. Because in, in a sense to them, they, like Funko Pop is the cheapest, the least offensive type of nerdy culture hobby you can get into. And to me, as a as a collector of figures, that is really offensive. <laughs> Man, just just looking at those things, those Funko Pops, it's, it's, it, they, they just look ugly, man. They just look ugly. Like it's it's the same mold, same eyes. Like the whole figure is the same. They just changed the outfit of it. Like I could understand if it's something like Nandroids, because at least Nandroids, like sure, it's it's a similar formula as um, Funko Pops. It's the same. Same scale, same body type, like it's the whole model looks the same, right? But at least the face looks different. And there's there's a lot more details to it. There's way more details in an Android compared to a Funko Pop. So an Android I'm okay with. But Funko Pop, my god. Uh, I'll be happier if I just let people like what they like. And that that's my point, right? If if they legit like that character, then there are other merch that looks better that you can get for those for those characters. Well, like, okay, to be fair, if it's a character that there, there are no merch of, except for, uh, for, except for Funko Pop, then sure, by all means, get one. But if there are other alternatives, then why not get those? They're, those look so much better. There's no reason why you, you should get a Funko Pop of, like, let's say, let, let's, let's say, like, you know, Yoda or whatever, right? Actually, Yoda fits pretty well with, with a Funko Pop. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just being... Just being me, I guess, just being grumpy, just over the fact that people are not are spending money on really shitty looking things when there are better alternatives. But well, you know, maybe some, you know, some people they genuinely like the looks of a Funko Pop. Then, uh, well, you know, that's that's them. You're taking it too serious. Uh, it's just a cute figure. It's but that's the thing. It's not even cute. It's not even cute. It's ugly. Like, can you look at a Funko Pop, a Funko Pop, and genuinely say, "Yeah, that, that looks, that looks cute. That looks good. I want it. I want to own one. I want people to see me having this in my, you know, in my personal space." Over, like, you know, over a regular action figures, which cost roughly the same price. If you can spend thirty bucks on a regular uh, Ninja Turtles action figure, and a, or you can spend the same money on the Funko Pop, which one would you get? Normally, for a regular person, you would go for a action figure, right? But I feel like right now the problem is getting an action figure. It's just kind of it's too nerdy. It's too it's it's either like it's it's either for kids or for adults like me who 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 are really into this, like really nerdy people who just collect these stuff because they actually love it. Whereas Funko Pop, it's it's less offensive to the casual crowd. It's uh, it's a bit more acceptable because it's really cute. See, it's uh, you know it's a really cute take on something nerdy. Uh, but well, you know, like you guys say, it's. It's just me being like I, I'm probably just taking this shit way too serious. I'm just being grumpy, and I'm just looking at this from a figure collector's uh, point of view. And there are people who genuinely prefer that look. And there's a reason why they are so popular and selling out, and that's because it's for the casuals. It's for the casuals. It's appealing to them. Like I said, it's it's to for for people who don't want to appear like a you know. Like hardcore nerd, it's very it's very appealing. Because it doesn't look like you're collecting something that's for kids or for nerds. And I honestly feel like that's the same reason why the freaking minions are so popular because it's 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 a very acceptable way for people to get into something that seems kinda nerdy and childish, but without looking nerdy and childish. 
Yeah, it, it's a way people. Yeah, like I understand Funko Pops is a way for people to show off their interest, but I'm just saying there are ways to show your appreciation or for your, your love for them. Because like 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 again, you know, going back to the Ninja Turtles example, like if you want, if you want to own a piece of Ninja Turtles and showcase it in a room, you want a good replications or a, a good depiction of that turtles not this weird ass alien you know some alien turtle version of, of, of you know of the character you know how do I feel about people putting stickers on their laptop or PC is that wrong uh, no I have no problem with that as long as the picture it's a good representation of the character if we put a picture a sticker version of a turtles Funko Pop on a PC then fuck that shit but if it's just a regular picture, a cool looking turtles picture or whatever you like on a PC, then that's fine. So it's not so much the idea of people buying cheap toys is my, you know, my uh, idea of people buying a really casualized look of that character. That's what I have a problem with. If Funko Pops looks better for the same price, then I'll be okay with it. My my main issues with Funko Pop is how shitty they look. Or I should say, like if, if the Funko Pop re actually resembles the character outside of their costume, I will be more open to that. It's like I was saying, Nandroids. I, I'm okay with Nandroids. Uh, misrepresentation of the actual character. Yes, yes, that is that is my main issue with it. So basically, yeah, that that one word, your your you know that one word you, you said, explain everything I said in the last like. 20 minutes. It's why, yeah, when I look at Funko Pops, they just look like such low effort, a, such a like you know distorted version of the actual character, and it just looks really low effort. And what annoys is what annoys me is like people actually like that look because it's it's been distorted. It doesn't look like an actual character, so it's it might seem a little less nerdy, less offensive. But that part is just you know just that's just my opinion. I might be talking out of my ass, and that might not be actually true. I don't blame the people who buy too much because yeah, like they want a, a cheap, easy way to kind of dip their hand or deep, dip their feet into this hobby without going too deep. So Funko Pop is just it's it's a perfect solution to that, right? So in that sense, like I I can appreciate the genius behind it, but as a uh, purist uh, using your term, that that bugs the shit out of me. Yeah, not everyone can be that hardcore either. Yeah, that that is true though, right? Because the people they, it is normal for people to want to kind of maintain a certain type of image. That is kind of sending the wrong message to the you know the makers of all these uh, of all these companies. They're just gonna keep pumping out shit that looks like that, right? Whereas the hardcore fans, we want something that looks good, even at you know even if it's a little bit more expensive, we want something that looks good. But instead. Shit like Funko Pop is making tons of money, and that uh, kills whatever chance we have in getting a like really good looking figure. And if we do get a good looking figure, it might it's you know really rare or like it's it's really exclusive. So that is my rant on uh, Funko Pops. And sometimes I I am a little tempted to <laughs> clip some of this and put it on YouTube. But at the same time, I feel like I I can put this these type of content on to the Ludens Curry YouTube channel because. I'm pretty sure Mojo will, will get pissed, but he'll be like, like, what the fuck are you doing, Bacon? You're gonna get people to hate us. <laughs> I'm gonna freaking offend God knows how many people out there. 